National Highway in Taal, Batangas, vehicles have to stop from time to time as DPWH workers repair the road. There are cracks in many parts of the highway, including that one, and, and even bigger damage here. That portion of the road sank by at least two feet. Natatakot po. Maaari po akong magsimpla kapag medyo mabilis o yung takbo ko. The fissures run through fields, road, and houses. The wall of this house has extremely large gaps. Its driveway uneven with the ground sunken in. Jay Zikatapang says this isn't how he left the house last Sunday. Ito ang mga kwarto sa labas. Yan, bumigay na. Baka gumuho eh. Hanggang kabila pa, kabila pa ito ng tulay. Tapos ito, doon sa banda ron, mahaba din. Tapos eh, bumu- yung nandoon, bumuka ng kagarita. Fivox also found cracks in several villages in Lemery, Agoncillo, Talisay, and San Nicolas, and in a road connecting Agoncillo to Laurel. Opo. Ito rin po yung pook kung saan uh, nagkaroon po tayo ng pagbitak noong 1911 ng pagputok. Fivox explaining, cracks indicate magma movement inside the Al Volcano, which means a stronger eruption could happen. Nababanat po yung lupa no? hmm. kapag tumutulak ang magma paakyat ng vulkan. So uh, umaalsa po ang lupa at nababanat po siya. Aha. Kaya po nagkakaroon po tayo ng bitak. Authorities already forcing everyone in towns within 14 kilometers from the volcano to leave. Officials already asked residents to evacuate last Sunday, but others returned home. This time, they have bigger reinforcement teams, leaving those who didn't want to go with no choice. Like these ones in Lemery, Batangas. They packed their bags and boarded vehicles to evacuation centers. Soldiers, policemen, and volunteers are checking each house to make sure that no one is hiding inside. Magbantay lang po kami dito sa ano, gawa po. Wala po yung amo namin dito. So, paano natin masisiguro na hindi nababalik po ito itong mga ito? Ilalockdown daw po ito, tapos... Magkakaroon po tayo ng military patrol po para hindi na po sila makabalik. Okay. Kasi po risky na po dito ma'am. Caroline Bonkin, CNN Philippines, Batangas.